what do you think of? Do you think of the majestic peacock? Do you think of a beautiful red rose? Do you think of a clear starry night or a snow-capped mountain in the Himalayas? Could beauty be that of the Mona Lisa or David? Or how about Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, who many consider to be some of the most attractive people to have ever lived? So what exactly is beauty? Can it be defined by certain characteristics? Well, according to science, it actually can. So a 2007 UK study from the psychology department of the University of Stirling has determined these two faces to be the most beautiful for a man and a woman. So what exactly makes these faces so attractive? Well, first of all, symmetry. A symmetrical face shows the opposite sex that healthy genes are to be found in your body. A slight, glow and, a slight glow and general consistency in the skin color is also deemed attractive. In men, a sharp, prominent jawline, thin lips, and thinner eyes shows that they have high testosterone levels and low estrogen levels. In women, a narrower jawline, fuller eyes, and bigger lips shows that they're the opposite, high levels of estrogen and low levels of testosterone. So, in the movie Gattaca, the notion of this perfect face is taken to a new level. In the movie, humans have entered an era of genetic alteration. Humans are genetically altered at birth, giving them the most perfect characteristics and editing out any undesirable characteristics. So, humans are genetically altered at birth, and parents can choose exactly how they want their child to look like, from eye color to skin color to even height. So, what exactly So how far away is a future such as this? How many times has science fiction become a reality? How many times has we have advanced so far technologically as a species? How many uh, inventions that used to be previously deemed science fiction have become a reality? So for example, communicators from Star Trek. Has anyone ever watched Star Trek? <laughs> OK. So, uh, in the, in the movies, these devices used to be uh, able to communicate with other people. We used to deem this only science fiction, but now they have become a reality as cell phones, right? Uh, in the Jetsons, the robotic vacuum they used to have, it has now been invented. There is now a robotic vacuum that can clean your entire house at the click of a button. Even hoverboards once deemed an almost impossible idea, are now being finalized as many companies are on the edges of bringing their prototype versions to the market. So just like in the movie, so just like in the movie Gattaca, there may soon be a way to bring, um, so just like in the movie Gattaca, there might soon be a way to edit out people's genes. A new technology named CRISPR has the potential to make science fiction a reality. CRISPR is an acronym for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeat. So that's a very long name, I know. But basically, in a nutshell, what it means is that now we can edit genes and cut them out at a precision and accuracy unprecedented in human history. So, the world of Gattaca could one day become a reality. With this evolving science, we could cut out any undesirable traits in people and create perfect people with perfect bodies and perfect faces. However, are we losing our humanity in our quest for perfection? Is it not our perfect, is it not our, is it not our, um, isn't it our flaws that make us who we are? You may have some imperfections, but do those imperfections not define you? So take a look at some of these models. These models defy the standard of beauty because they give us a new look on the beauty standard. And this model right here, Melaine Gasper, is an extremely successful model. She defies the beauty aspect in every category. She has a disease that does not let her grow hair or grow teeth. However, she is a very successful model. So with this talk, I would like to leave you with a few questions. So, is this a world you would want your children to live in? Would you want your children to live in the world of Gattaca, where people are defined based on their genetics? 
Would you use CRISPR on your children? What is beauty to you? How do you define beauty yourself? And how much does appearance really matter in the whole scheme of things? Thank you.